It's okay. Don't answer that. It doesn't matter. Your votes are useless anyway. Both parties are pitching you the same old bullshit. Cancer capitalism. A libertarian dystopia. A world without values, hope, basic empathy. All they want for you is to slave away till you drop dead. To be a cog in the machine till you forget you're even human. They all say the same thing. That you too can be rich. That if you just work hard enough and take care of yourself, you'll make it to the top. Lies, lies, and more lies. The American dream is dead. We're living the American nightmare. A nightmare where you don't wake up. Behold, poverty in every flavor of the rainbow. Two for one discount or death. My dear night citizens, it's time you stopped eating their lies. Time you knew there was another way. The system cannot be changed, only abolished once and for all. Sorry, did I just interrupt your favorite channel? Good, cause it's time you stopped. Unglued your eyes from this mind-numbing crap and took off your capitalist tinted optics to see the truth. Just think about what you're watching. All of its primitive neuron zapping entertainment, catering to humanity's basest instincts. Interviews with stars who sold their soul to the devil! Cursed prophets spreading the gospel of selfishness! Commercials telling you to buy this! Chip this! Eat this! It's all just muck that they're pumping into your brain! So you lose the ability to reflect, doubt, dream, ask uncomfortable questions about life! Just think, why do we have to destroy our bodies to find a job? Why do we have to pay off endless debt and yet pay higher taxes than a billionaire? Why are we afraid of the police more than all of Night City's gangs put together? Turn off your TV! That's right, come on! Now go and see how many blue screens go dark in your neighbor's windows! That's how many of us there are! Think about what would happen if we all got up from our knees! United as one! Believe me, that day will come! And sooner than you think! Hey, you! Yeah, I'm talking to you! See any animals yesterday? Even a single one? Not even a roach or a rat? That's what I thought! Cause that's what our city is now! A wasteland of glass, steel, and silicone! Governments and courts tell us it's for our own good! That it's the only thing stopping another bird flu! Or swine flu! Or whatever flu! And we're supposed to just take them for their word! Wake up, people! Here we are! Constructing artificial cities in orbit! Downloading our minds into integrated circuits! Coding all powerful AIs! And we can't make one damn flu vaccine! You wanna know why? Corps want to destroy nature! Cause it doesn't give them IPs or copyright ownership! So we eat test tube chicken! Plants that grow in jabs! Hell! Even photosynthesis has been trademarked! Enough is enough! It's time we said stop! Before the sixth extinction wipes us all out! You think they'll stop our food? What about our bodies? There's no chunk of them that can't be cut, improved and modified, so that every breath we take, every heartbeat generates profit. And what about your children? From the corpse perspective, it's untapped potential, a goddamn wasted commodity. Soon our techno-fascist overlords will convince you that having children isn't your natural right, but a privilege you pay for out of your pocket. The water you're drinking, the food you're eating, they're putting chemicals in that will reduce your fertility, so that soon they'll be incubating babies in water tanks, with serial numbers on their foreheads, hooked up to cables instead of umbilical cords. Open your eyes! 
snap out of it before it's too late. Congratulations! If you're sitting and watching this, it means you survived. No lunatic broke into your home when you were sleeping. No piece of trash held you at gunpoint on your way to the subway. No cyber psycho shredded you ribbons while you were buying groceries. The powers that be say there's nothing to be done. That there's no budget for police. That nobody knows what causes cyber psychosis. That drug trafficking is inevitable. Lies, I tell you. Dirty, stinking lies. Don't you get that's what they want? They want you to wet yourself every time you hear footsteps behind you. Whenever somebody knocks at your door, they want you to draw that iron and pull the trigger. But do you know what they're afraid of? Trust. Trust between neighbors, citizens. Because that's what's stopping us from being allies instead of enemies. Our society is broken! We're a heap of depressed, lonely, ego-obsessed individuals, and so we grab on to anyone who offers us a fantasy on a chip, a dream of a better life. We need to learn how to talk to each other, how to stop being afraid, how to trust. Remember, change starts from within. Hey you, what do you have for dinner? Some scalp paste from a tube? Meat spray? Yellow tap water and canned high fructose syrup? What do you think they give the people living in the Corp villages? I tell you. Rare steaks and lobsters on silver platters. Wired bottles from a time without constant acid rain. Your say it's always been this way. The rich and the poor, the miserable and the contented. At least back in the good old days, everyone was equal in the face of death. The fate sniffed your thread and Carol took you across the river sticks for a single bowl. My, my, how things have changed. The rich have boosted their lifespans by years, decades, even centuries. They swapped their organs for implants, cured cancer with nanites, exchanged their wrinkles and flaps for sin skin. But oh no, they won't stop there. Arasak has made a new biochip. Relic, storing a real human being's consciousness, their memory, knowledge, everything but their flesh and blood. But what's a body nowadays if not a dry, disgusting cocoon from which our real selves, enhanced, modified, immortal, are supposed to emerge? It's the end of death! That's what the Relic is! The top 1% of the 1% are using it to build their own paradise on Earth. Except, instead of St. Peter, there's a terminal showing the price of your soul. And what about the rest of us gray, ordinary night citizens? While they're living in their pristine glass skyscrapers on New Olympus, we'll be eating shit off the streets. This is it. Our final stop before we sleepwalk over the cliff. Wake up, people! It's the millionaires of this world that need a good shove. 